Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat and today we're going to be comparing the OnePlus 3T and the OnePlus 5 and figuring out whether you should be buying one or the other and if you already own a OnePlus 3T, should you be upgrading? So let's find out. If you recently bought the OnePlus 3 or the OnePlus 3T, the launch of the OnePlus 5 may not be such an exciting news for you. With the OnePlus 3 and the 3T still available in markets like India, the company has essentially created a bunch of products ranging in price anywhere from 27,000 rupees all the way up to 38,000 rupees. So to answer off the first question, if you're in the market for a new OnePlus phone and are considering either the OnePlus 3T or the OnePlus 5, the price difference of only 3,000 rupees, the OnePlus 5 may make for a better choice. And while at approximately the same price, you can get a 128 gigabyte variant of the OnePlus 3T, the OnePlus 5 does offer up a new Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 along with dual cameras, which may make sense for a lot of people. If you're not looking at the latest specifications, the OnePlus 3T still packs a punch, and if you want to save on those 3,000 rupees, it can be a great option for you. At a considerably lower price, the OnePlus 3T still packs a punch. You get a Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 chipset, along with 6GB of RAM and 64GB of onboard storage. You still get dash charge capability along with a larger 3400mAh battery. Another thing with the OnePlus 3T is the fact that the design remains unique and is not like the iPhone which is the case with the OnePlus 5 and which has led to a lot of disappointment with OnePlus fans. Now the phones both have an optic AMOLED display, both of them have a 5.5 inch 1920 by 1080p display but the OnePlus 5 does get the DCI P3 color gamut setup which means that if you're watching cinema video or movies on your phone you'll get an accurate color representation which we found to be really good on the OnePlus 5. You also get improvements on things like Bluetooth 5.0, wireless antennas and a dual camera setup. One thing you have less of is the battery with the 3300 mAh battery versus the 3400 on the OnePlus 3T but thanks to optimizations with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835, battery life remains more or less equal if not more on the OnePlus 5. Now, as far as cameras are concerned, the OnePlus 5 does have a dual camera setup with a telephoto lens of 20 megapixels. So if you have steady hands and you want to take a picture far off into the distance, you can use the telephoto lens and it does have a large 20 megapixel sensor allowing you to crop into the image quite a lot. But I do prefer the camera of the OnePlus 3T versus the camera on the OnePlus 5 simply because the camera on the OnePlus 3T has optical image stabilization. And for a person who shoots a lot of video and clicks a lot of pictures but has shaky hands like me, the OnePlus 3T makes for a better shooter. Now both phones have impressive cameras, especially if you are clicking pictures outdoors during the day. You'll get some really nice images along with good HDR on both the devices. Now despite the optical image stabilization or the lack of, the OnePlus 5 manages to get good and sharp shots as well as really good color and saturation on images even in low light conditions which is quite impressive. The OnePlus 5 does get the advantage of the telephoto lens allowing you to zoom into your subjects and get a shot. Also while shooting video you can zoom into your subject and get a video zoom without losing any detail on your video using the secondary camera. The secondary camera also allows you to get some depth shots which for now seem to be in an early test stage and don't seem to be that great. As far as the design is concerned, both the phones are quite identical with the OnePlus 5 coming in at slightly slimmer at 7.25mm as opposed to the 7.35mm on the OnePlus 3T. The OnePlus 5 is also slightly slender in terms of its width with a 74.1mm width versus the 74.7 seen on the OnePlus 3T. OnePlus 5 also sheds a little bit of weight with coming in at 153 grams versus the 158 on the OnePlus 3T. Now if you leave the benchmarks aside or even if you consider the benchmarks, both the phones have impressive amounts of performance. Now whether you're gaming on the OnePlus 3T or the OnePlus 5, you'll notice no considerable lag, nor will you notice any form of lag when you're switching between applications or using the phone in your day-to-day -day application. The 6GB of RAM is managed well on Oxygen OS on both the devices and there seems to be no noticeable difference as far as performance is concerned between the OnePlus 3T and the OnePlus 5. Battery life on both the phones is more or less the same with a lot of heavy usage we found 4-5 to five hours of screen on time on both the phones but this is considering that we were using both the phones for a lot of video as well as image capture. 
you may get varied results as per your usage. Now with all of this out of the way, if you just bought the OnePlus 3T, should you upgrade to the OnePlus 5? For those who always want the best specifications and always want the latest hardware and are not concerned about the price, they should definitely upgrade to the OnePlus 5. But for those looking for an improvement as far as hardware performance is concerned, with no noticeable or big noticeable differences between the OnePlus 3T and the OnePlus 5, I would say hold off until the next OnePlus phone is launched, which might be just a few months down the line. For those looking to buy a new phone, like I mentioned earlier on in this video, if you're choosing between the OnePlus 3T and the OnePlus 5, and you don't care a lot about the price difference, which is around $50 or about 3000 rupees in India, you should definitely get the more new phone with the 835 chipset and always the latest updates. And then you also have the ability to have one of the first phones to have eight gigabyte of RAM if you choose the more expensive OnePlus 5. But if you wanna save on that money, you can always choose the OnePlus 3T. Like I said, it does have some advantages and some slightly less powerful specs, which honestly shouldn't matter in your day-to-day -day usage. The OnePlus 3T is still a fantastic phone and it allows you to save up on some money. And also the fact that you get accessories a lot easier for a phone that has been around for a while. So that was our quick comparison between the OnePlus 3T and the OnePlus 5. If you have certain other opinions about these two devices, you can drop them in the comment section below. If you want us to compare the OnePlus 5 with any other phone, do let us know in the description below as well, and we'll try and get that done for you. This is me in Bharat Nagpal. Check us out on iGan.in. Catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Until I see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching.